Ready, Jose? Ready, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. What were you saying to Freddy Roach there? Oh, uh, you know, he was, he's been a, he was, uh, he's been a part of my development you know, as a fighter. So I was with him for four years uh, with Marvin, uh, Freddy. So you know, I told him after I get this done, you know, he should be, he should, you know, he should feel that he was a part of a part of this whole thing, you know, this whole journey. Um, I met Freddie back early in the Olympics and he really liked my work ethic and uh, you know and I made the, trans the transition to go to Robbie Garcia you know but it's never been a, any, any hard feelings between me and, and, and uh, the wildcard boxing gym so you know I, I respect everything he did for me and uh, everything I learned at the wildcard boxing gym so, so it's all so right, friendly. Talking about Josh Taylor then is this the toughest test for you today? Yeah on paper definitely you know my, uh, it's undefeated. He's undefeated and he's, uh, he's motivated. He has a, a whole country behind him. So, of course, you know, um, and that's the way I, I expect. You know, I expect to face the best charge sailor. You know, I, I, I feel that that's going to bring the, the best out of me and it's going to make for a better fight. You think this is going under the radar a little bit? I mean, this is an undisputed world title fight between <laughs> two undefeated champions in the prime. I mean, this should be. Of, of course, man. You know, you, know? you know, if you ask me, of course, you know, but it's something for you guys to say. You know, it's what. It's what, what what do you guys think about this? You know, you guys, you, guys, you guys should be making those comments. You know, my job is to just be grateful for the opportunity and go out there and do my job. You know, uh, I'm focused, I'm composed, and uh, you know, I'm just happy Top Ring made it happen. Uh, MTK management made it, you know, made it happen with uh, uh, you know with Josh Taylor coming in and and, <clears throat> and working with Jack Catterall to move aside. You know, because Jack Catterall was, you know, he's been next for the WBO. Um, and I wasn't really aware of that until I beat Murasuka and then I realized, okay, he comes with a, a mandatory, right? Yeah. But I had Victor Posto and then I had Jack Catterall. Uh, so that's what happens when you start, you know, having all these belts, he's got all these mandatory. So I'm just happy that uh, he was, MTK Global was able to uh, make it very smooth, you know, and, and make this fight happen. Because it's better now uh, than, than later, you know? I think we're putting a, we're making an example of how boxing should be. You know, both me and Josh Taylor, we, no excuses, you know? We're making this, we're, we're, uh, we're setting the example that if two fighters really want to fight, they'll make it happen. Yeah, but we'll talk to me. How do you beat Josh then? How do you beat Josh Taylor? I gotta be at my best, and that's <laughs> what I plan to do, you know? To show something I've never shown before, you know? Uh, and uh, I'm very, com I'm very, you know, uh, confident in my skills, man. I, you know, most people forget that I was an Olympian, you know, and in America, to be an Olympian, you gotta be really fast, you gotta be all these fast guys, and and uh, I made it happen, you know. So I have a lot of a lot of tools in my craft, and I think it's, you know, I gotta put them together. Well, thanks for this 5 TV channel. Catch yeah, you soon. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Jose.